you should be contextualising the foundation skills at all times. The vet areas themselves um, can import foundation skills units into their um, courses to give them more time to help the students with those basic foundation skills that they might need. You need to actually have a look at the unit of competency itself, go through that unit and identify the areas that involve LLN skills or foundation skills and have that discussion with the vocational teacher. Okay, if it says here, estimate, what exactly does it mean? What exactly do they have to do? And so to actually unpick the vocational unit and pull out of that what the foundation skills are and then on the basis of that, that will then determine which units you choose and then how you will then contextualise it. You then need to go back to the vocational section and say, OK, these are the units we're thinking of running. Do you think that they'll meet your needs? OK, what resources, what uh, methodology can we use to deliver that? What's the best way for us to deliver that? So how can we build in these foundation skills into your delivery and support your delivery? The training packages you know, on a surface level, might describe how to build a staircase. They might describe how to give someone a haircut. But if you actually look at the language of each of the performance criteria within those units of competency and training packages, you'll see that there's consistent references to um, uh, reading documents, to measuring, to um, communicating with work colleagues. I would look at the training package that is being delivered, so we, we identify the foundation skills that are embedded in that. And then I would probably take, for example, a foundation skills unit. I would ask vet teachers to identify, OK, let's look at this performance criteria and this element. It might say, uh, read a uh, workplace document. OK, you tell me, what kind of workplace documents would these students um, come across in this particular workplace? The language within the foundation skills units make them generic. So they, they talk about um, using measurement for work. They don't specify the work and they don't specify how the measurement's used. And so it's deliberately quite generic in order that you can put it anywhere. If, for example, there's a unit in the foundation skills training package called Use Formatted Written Texts. I could take that particular unit and apply it to a number of workplaces. For example, we might have a workplace, say, in a hairdressing salon. Then we could move into an environment like a electrotechnology classroom where students are working with an electrotechnology regulations book. Then you might move across to a business context. The foundation unit that is in called Use Formatted Documents can be applied to a whole different range of industries. Cherry picking foundation skills units is quite easy because they are, you know, the numbers almost indicate the level of difficulty. So as you go up, um, you might have, say, for instance, um, read simple documents, and then the next one up will be read complex documents, and then read highly complex documents. They can apply to any vocation. It's, it's basically taking, you know, for example, area formulas and applying them to carpentry. You're doing horticulture, you're calculating areas for landscaping. The skills that you're learning are the same, but it's just the application is different. <laughs>